What's up everyone, this is Mike with PricePlot.com and boy, I got a story for you, especially for you old school metabolic nutrition Synodrex fans. What we have here is High Tech Pharma's new Synodrine fat burner. So I'm gonna talk, in this video I'm gonna talk about the story behind what happened here and um, and then everyone can check out the, our blog post to read more. You can see our coupons and our price comparisons at PricePlot.com uh, where you can save the most money. After that, you can drop off a video because I'm gonna get into the ingredients for uh, those of you who are new to this product because this was a very, very popular fat burner uh, back in the day. So the story kind of goes like this. Metabolic Nutrition was a company who created this Synodrex fat burner. And I'll post up some label comparisons as we get into that. And uh, they had two versions. The first of which had DMAA, or 1,3-dimethylamylamine. And then the second version, once the DMAA warning letters were sent out by the FDA, the second version had amp citrate, which also had warning letters. Now, this part I cannot confirm or deny, or I just don't know, but it's rumored, if you Google around, it's rumored that metabolic nutrition was raided by one of the government agencies. We're not sure why, it might have been over that amp citrate ingredient, not really sure. Either way, a lot of people have been asking uh, and emailing us for months, where can we find the original formula Synodrex, and uh, how can we kind of use existing products out there to replicate it? So I finally contacted High Tech Pharma and said, hey, you guys, there's a lot of demand for this. Uh, what are you guys up to? And they said, actually, my friend, we're about to release this. And so at this year's 2016 Olympia, they gave me this bottle. And um, and so that's the story there. It's basically nearly an identical clone. I mean, if you look at this bottle, it is it, the designer kicked butt on this because it's like a near it's a near clone. This is kind of what High Tech Pharma has done in the past with Hydroxy Elite being an Oxy Elite Pro clone. And this is kind of a competitor to that. I'll, I'll get into it in... Uh, you know, later when I talk about the ingredients, this is kind of a, a similar-ish product, in my opinion. Um, now, I don't, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have a basis for comparison because I never took either of those old Synodrex formulas. So the good news is I've gotten confirmation that Crazy uh, of CrazyBeauty.com, she's taken both of these, uh, or both the old formula, and so she's very excited to do us a quick review comparing how well this one stacks up. Um, in my opinion, in my mini review, I've taken four capsules worth of this. I have a, um, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I, it's a, it's a very smooth fat burner, and um, I'm feeling it pretty good. But I'm not overwhelmed, or I'm not, I'm not too hot. It's just a, a very, very smooth DMA based fat burner. And I think it's a great alternative to those of you who are looking for something like Oxy Elite Pro, but possibly, um, possibly a little bit stronger, in my opinion. Now, the thing is, comparing to the other popular high-tech fat burners, such as Lipidrine here, uh, which is their number one seller, or something similar like Stimurex ES, um, these products have the PEA alkaloids from Acacia Rigadula or, uh, or Senegalia Berlandieri, and I will say that these hit you a lot faster and a lot harder because of those PEA alkaloids. For some people, you want that. You want to get that motivation, that mood burst, like boom, right away. It's there in like less than five minutes. It's awesome. But some people, that's a bit over the top. And so I really can't decide, I can't tell you what you want, um, but sometimes you want something smoother, and I think this is that. Sometimes you want to kick in the butt, and this or this or that, and if you need even more caffeine, they have the hardcore versions as well, which I'm personally, <laughs> I don't touch, because I don't like that much caffeine. Um, so that's my mini review, is that I am very positive on this, but sorry, I don't have a basis for comparison. So um, so we'll get the review from, from Crazy, and now everyone else, you can, you can check out of this video if you want. Uh, I'm gonna get into the ingredients about what is so different and unique about the Synodrex formula and the Synodrine formula. So as we said, Synodrex, Synodrex had two different formulas, and the main there were some, a couple of ingredients that were difference makers. What High Tech Pharma did, and we talk about this in the blog, is they kind of made a best of both worlds. They brought back the DMAA ingredient, but also they knocked out a lot of the ingredients that they analyzed from that first version, which may have been good ingredients, but they determined that they were not efficaciously dosed anyway, and that's kind of why Synodrex got rid of them in the second version. But the second version had the illegal amp citrate, so none of that. So this is kind of best of both worlds of the stuff that's effective. And the capsule here, it's a heavy capsule. Like they pack this as about as, as much as, as you can pack a capsule. It's like filled to the brim here. So um, one serving is all you gotta take. I think, I, and I'm going to, uh, well, you have to check our blog post if we update how, much, how many stimulants are in here because we don't have the exact doses. Sometimes High Tech Pharma will release them. Um, I have a feeling this is, this is north of 200 milligrams of caffeine. 
So definitely stronger than OxyLeak Pro in that fashion. Uh, what they did is they analyzed using their equipment at High Tech Pharma. They analyzed what those original Synodrex formulas had. So um, the, the difference makers here, basically for those, okay, so methyl xanthine on the label, that's caffeine. It's first on the label in an 815 milligram uh, prop blend. I'm thinking it's 225 milligrams of caffeine maybe. That's pure guess. Then after that, green tea extract, you know that. Now, 1,3-dimethylanolamine is back. This is DMAA. And for those of you who haven't been following our blog or, um, or seen any other videos on this, the story goes that around 2012, the, the FDA was sending out warning letters regarding DMAA. They do not like this ingredient. And so everyone kind of got scared off by these warning letters, except for one company, and that's High Tech Pharmaceuticals. And High Tech Pharmaceuticals is currently in the process of suing the FDA. And they're stating that, hey, those warning letters are not law. That does not constitute final agency action. And so they're suing for the right to use DMAA as a legal ingredient in um, dietary supplements. In that case, they've had some headway and that case is going to court. We don't have any recent updates, unfortunately, but the point is that right now, DMAA is insured by one company, um, High Tech Pharma, and, they are, and they are, they're suing for the right to use it. They are kind of, they've kind of taken on the role of like the industry alphas right now. And in my opinion, that's a great thing because they're fighting for consumer rights. So if you don't like DMAA, then obviously you don't want this ingredient. For those of us who take it in small, good doses at the right times and don't have any pre-existing cardiovascular conditions, please check with your doctor before taking any supplement. Um, I think it's a great, fantastic ingredient, and there are studies that, that show some basis in nature. So we could argue about that left and right all day long. Point being, High Tech Pharma is suing for your right to use what you want to use if you use it and are well-educated and researched on it. Um, so it's back. Anyway, that's that ingredient. Check our blog post if I can find out how much of this is in there, because that's kind of important if you want to take just one capsule, maybe two capsules per day. The max dose is three capsules. I don't imagine, uh, it says do not take more than four capsules in a 24 hour period. I don't imagine myself ever wanting to do that much. It's a pretty strong product in my opinion. Um, so after that, then, so now we have a couple of unique ingredients. Solutiamine. This is a, a, a cognitive enhancing, memory boosting ingredient. And it's really just, uh, it's a molecule made out of two thiamine or vitamin B1 molecules. And uh, they add a sulfur atom. And what happens with this is that it turns into a, a, an ingredient that can cross the blood brain barrier, whereas thiamine can't. And that increases uh, cognition and memory. And so that helps cut through the brain fog. Now, a lot of the research is, is, uh, is in foreign languages, and so not all of it's translated for us, but basically memory boosting is, is what the research seems to be pointing towards. The thing is that this is great for dieters who, if you're on a low calorie diet, you kind of get the brain fog, you're kind of like dying a little bit. Um, nootropics like this help cut through that brain fog, and in certain nootropic circles, solbutamine, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, is a popular ingredient. Uh, so that's one difference maker. We never really see this in fat burners. And that's one, possibly one reason why this was so popular or the Synodrex is so popular. And this is going to be popular. Uh, after that, we have a sandalwood extract. And so this is a uh, sandalwood oil extract has been shown to have anti, um, anti kind of diabetic properties where it can lower blood sugars. And so I, a lot of times you take, you're supposed to take a fat burner capsule about 15 and 30 minutes before having a meal. Well, this will this alongside of the other uh, ingredient that does this alpha lipoic acid can help lower your blood sugar and get your carbs into to get them shuttled properly more into muscle tissue than into fat tissue. That's the idea behind this. So a lot of dieters like that, especially if you have trouble processing carbs and you know that you're one of those people that if you go a little too high in your carbs, it goes right to fat. This is that's one of the several ingredients out there that that help with it. Um, after that, we have yohimbine extract. I'm not personally feeling too much of a yohimbine uh, overwhelming sensation here. Typically, I know like in these kind of products with high tech pharma, they like to do 1.5 milligrams, which is not too much to get at, not too much like to get overly anxious from it, but enough to kind of get feeling good. However, as this is a clone from being um, from Metabolics Nutrition Formula, once again, we'll update the blog post if we know the dose. If you know you can't handle yohimbine, this might not be your, a product for you. After that, um, okay, you got the alpha lipoic acid, which we talked about, and then polythyronine, which is, I believe, a T2 thyroid molecule um, a derivative. And so this is a thyroid booster, kind of like OxyLeap Pro had its own thyroid booster, and it had its DMA, and it had a lower dosage, dosage of caffeine. 
Um, Synadrine has this take on on the thyroid. And so a lot of people look for that boost, but if you are on thyroid medication, if you do not have a doctor's permission, do not touch this stuff because you don't want, the thyroid is an important thing that you can't be messing with if you have a known thyroid condition. So that's my take. Um, this product, I, I, I'm excited about this product. I love what high tech's doing. Like I said, they're kind of taking that alpha leadership in this industry and they're fighting for consumer rights. And whether or not you like DMAA, I think you do need to appreciate that. Obviously, you know, we're big fans of this stuff and we're big fans of what they're doing. And so, uh, this is kind of like the next hydroxy elite. So we'll make links to all of our different pages and you could, you could decide if this is one you want. But for those of you who are asking us over and over, where can I find Synodrex? I don't know where you can find Synodrex, but I know where you can find Synodrine, and that's on pricefly.com slash italkpharmaceuticals. This is Mike with Pricefly. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.